Welcome back guys. I'm almost to the spot. I'm gonna do some goose deer glassing. Just came over the saddle. And hoping to find some good sheds today. Just heading back in here where I've never been before. And I think it'll be pretty good. So stay tuned and hoping to glass some good deer up. We'll see. Might not, but hopefully we'll try. And we're gonna see if we can find some good sheds in here. I'm gonna be going back in here a little ways to a spot where I think we'll be good. So stay tuned and we'll see what we can find. It looks pretty good. There's a good bit of glass in here. Hot dog guys, I think I got a shed. Glassed around a bunch this morning, only found a few does. But I just, I was just glassing right here on the hill next to me and it looks like a really cool shed. Like, looks like he's got some character. He might even like fork in the back. Dude, yeah, nice koozie shed. Got it here on the camera. Should be able to see it pretty good, so. <laughs> Dude, yeah. Oh my goodness, it's terribly tiny. <laughs> oh my word, I did not think it was going to be that small. Wow, that's probably one of the smallest three bys I've ever found. It's hard to judge size, honestly, guys, with sheds. Check this out. I thought it was going to be a good bit bigger than that. Just a tiny little guy. That is sweet. Wow. That's a crazy looking buck. Look at his mass though for how small he is. I mean, he's got some decent mass. That is weird and the eye guard is like flat. That's pretty cool guys. It's literally fresh deer tracks right here. This thing's old, but maybe I'll walk down this trail a little bit. Maybe he dropped his other one not too far. Check this out. These bucks been tearing stuff up. Look at this tree. I don't think I've seen coos deer rub up a tree this much. That is cool. Alright guys, just showed you that big scrape back there or the big rub and we got our second shed already dude yeah looks like last year's brown too sick that's sweet Alrighty. nice it's been laying in the sun but <sighs> so we got a little bit of color on the back Nice hard white, tall buck, tall little forky. Take it two already, barely started looking. There could be some good ones in here guys. Alrighty guys, third shed already. Just walking in this creek bottom kind of. Just check over here real quick. There's the other side. Dude, yeah. <laughs> Check that out. <laughs> That's pretty sweet, guys. They're almost identical, just little forkies, no eye guards. That is cool. Sweet. That's four sheds already in this one canyon. 
all right guys <clears throat> so I came from the other side of that hill and came around went back in that big canyon back there and then came up here came down wanted to check down in here and I'm glad I did because little shed right down in there sweet that's what number number five or six I can't remember now just a tiny little guy he thinks he's broken that would have been a cool looking little three by <laughs> man we gotta find the big ones they gotta be in here little tiny guys with three by frames it's gotta be some good ones in here that is sweet though might beat my record for how many coos your sheds have found in a day. I'm not exactly sure what that was, but it was a long time ago. I think I think it was probably around I don't know close to ten, maybe like nine or eight, something like that. But anyways, I'm also trying out my new pack I just got yesterday. I Q U pack. I'm really liking it. I needed a bigger one if I'm gonna go back in and camp out for a few days or something. Or a night or two. Like elk shed hunting or just whatever hunting. So I got a bigger pack. This is a 4000 series. So I really like it. Pretty sweet. Well, just came over this saddle over here last shed I found was on the other side and came out over here on the map it looked like there was you know a wash and a dark spot where there's trees and stuff but it looks really good and it's pretty open like there's not a whole lot of brush so I'm just really gonna glass this good and if I don't find a shed down here guys I'm a bad shed owner <laughs> There's got to be some sheds in here. It looks really good. I should be able to glass up, hopefully a few. But we'll see. Let's get the glass in. All right, guys. I got my first, <clears throat> looks like my first nice shed down here. Looks like a good three by. Oh, sweet. I can see if I can get some footage of it. I glassed like all of this down here. And so I'll probably head up over here in this canyon a little bit walk down through here and then my sheds down over here and pick it up so dude yeah it looks like a nice shed like from where I was sitting here I couldn't see it unless I looked around the bush but I went over there a little bit to glass what was behind the bush and I found it so <laughs> dude yeah looks like a nice shed it's got an eye guard I think it's a nice three by so we'll go pick it up here in a bit hopefully even find some more before we pick that one up because there's some good looking stuff over here that definitely could hold some antlers so we'll see you guys got a deadhead back up in this canyon haven't even picked up that one shed yet gotta go that way good ways sweet it doesn't look real big but let's check it out it's not real old either look at that a fork with big eye guards that's cool. Look at that. Big eye guard on that thing. It's probably like a four inch eye guard. Almost. It's not real old either. That's sweet. I would take that any day. Pretty cool. Kind of a unique buck. With really big eye guards. That's cool. Seen some bones laying around and there he is. Right. Right here somewhere. Here's the big tree. There's the shed. Sweet. It's a heavy dude. Look at that thing. That's old, but that thing is heavy for its size. Yeah, he's dense. That's dense horn right there. He would have been a heavy chunker. Too bad he's not brown. <laughs> oh well. I need to come back in here when they shed. Just walk all these deer trails. 
That's sweet. That's a pretty heavy coos deer right there. That is sweet. All right, seventh shed on the board. Another little tiny one. Hiding there under the bush. Pretty cool. Just another little small one. All right, guys, well, came over this next ridge. Ate lunch over there and took a nap. Came over this ridge and glassed around a bit. Didn't see anything, but there's a big thick down here farther. So we're gonna head down there and, and just walk through it and hopefully pick something up. So should be a good spot. So see what we can turn up. Oh guys, this is sick. Get down here, like as soon as I get into the bottom. Right where a shed should be. Oh yeah, it's obviously this place doesn't get shed under much. Yes. Check that out. I glass like right past this tree, I think, when I was up there. And I don't know, I must just couldn't have seen it from there or something. Dude, yeah, nice little fork. It's a chalker though. It's an old one. Pretty decent size though. Sweet. Guys, I think I'm gonna find a lot in here. All right guys, shed number eight. Right in there. Dude, yeah, this one's just last year's. Sweet. Guys, I just picked up that other one not very long ago. Oh, look, he looks like he had a double eye guard right there. Sweet. He was a tall, tall guy with no tines. <laughs> well, number nine. Another little dink. <laughs> Man, what's up with me finding dinks? Old chalker three by the front time broken off. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sweet, I'll take it. That's number nine. Wow. <laughs> oh yes, guys. Yes. I came up out of this wash over here and it was all open out here, so I came up here. There's actually a doe standing right there still. Right over there. Anyways, I come up here, I look down, there's a shed laying like right there, and I look even farther down, and there's another shed laying right there. Dude, yeah. It might be a set, I don't, well maybe not, this one's definitely a good buck though. Finally a good one. Oh, dude. Dude. Check that out. Pokey Fritz, guys. I think it is a set because that one down there is forked on the back. Look at that thing. Dude. Yes. I gotta get some pictures. Let's go check this one out. Dude, yeah, guys. Oh, there's another shed right beside of it. You gotta be kidding me, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, dude. I don't think it is a set. Cause that one's not really big. And it's super old. And there's another one right here. Oh my goodness. That's another nice one. Dude, one, two, and three. And there's gotta be more. I haven't even walked through here very much. Just like a big thick spot right here. Check that thing out. Look at the bladed on the back. Dude, yeah. That's what I've been looking for, guys. Look at that mess. Dude. That's a toad. That is sick. The eye guard all bladed like crazy. Oh my goodness, guys. Check that thing out. 
All right, let's go pick up the other ones. I cannot believe this case. Three sheds in the same spot. And I would not doubt if there's more close by. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's so sick. Oh. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's the same buck. Maybe it is, I don't know. Looks a good bit thinner. Maybe it's his year before because this one's thinner. This one looks a little older too. Another cool shed. Good mass. Decent mass. And then this nice little three by. Oh my goodness. Dude, yeah. <laughs> so sick. Oh my goodness. That is totally epic, guys. Three right here. All right, guys. Another shed. Super dink. That's number 13. Hot dog. Should glass that over there. Alrighty. 14th shed right here this is insane guys this is by far my record for one day I believe a cool little fork might have been a 3 by that is cool stubby little eye guard it's got a hole right there I don't know if he broken off or I think it probably was sweet Hot dog, guys. Well, headed back out. Thought I'd hit this one spot I didn't get on the way in. And we got another shed. Oh, he's a wonky one. Look at it. That's cool. That's kind of weird. That's number 16, guys. Actually counted again and I have 16 in my pack and one dead head. This is number 16. The wind's probably kind of bad right now. But... Alright guys, literally just picked up this shed right over there. Walk around over there a little bit, come back. There's a shed right there. <laughs> this is crazy. Dude, look at the eye guard on that thing. That's pretty cool. Definitely a newer one. That's a nice eye guard for that small. That almost might could be the deadhead I found off the deadhead I found. I don't know. I have to put it up to the deadhead. Sweet guys. One more shed I found. From a good distance too actually. Seems a little white thing. Glassed up, sure enough. It's a shed. And we'll take it. That is number 18. That is crazy. That is what every shed hunter dreams to do, I believe, is find a ton of sheds. And to find this many coos deer sheds is just crazy. Definitely beat my max by a long ways. Oh man, I got one more ridge to hike over. I probably went like, last time I checked it was eight point, oh, dude, another shed. I think we went like eight point, almost nine miles, but now I'm probably over 10. Dude, it's a nice one. Dude, yeah. One of the biggest ones I've found. Look at that. Check that out, guys. They're almost all old, but it's still cool. Hot dog. That's a nice one. Pretty good size. Goodness sakes, guys, that's 19. I might be able to hit 20. Good grief. This is crazy. Alrighty, guys, made it back to the truck. It's like about almost 11 miles. So, a long walk but it was worth it for sure. 
19 sheds total, one deadhead. Makes a total of 21 antlers. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a ton of sheds. <laughs> but anyways guys, that's why you try out new spots. You never know. I don't think hardly anybody goes in there. If anybody. But anyways guys, we're gonna head home. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and if you like this kind of videos, if you like shed hunting as much as I do, make sure to subscribe and make sure to turn on that notification bell. And thanks for watching guys.